वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल वेल हाउ आर यू ऑल एंड हाउ हैव यू बीन डूइंग आई होप दैट ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग रियली गुड एंड आर यू एक्साइटेड फॉर टूडेज लेसन वेल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अपग्रेड योर वोकेबलरी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न न्यू वोकेबलरी देन दिस लेसन इज फॉर यू एनी वन इज वेलकम ऑन आर चैनल सम वन हु जस्ट बिगिन लर्निंग इंग्लिश someone who's on the advanced level of learning your student working professional anyone who wants to learn english is welcome here on this channel so welcome once again today we are going to learn something very important yet very exciting and enjoyable you are going to enjoy this lesson a lot and at the end you will have upgraded vocabulary so how many times do you use the word sorry i think a lot of times isn't it this is one word that is very important in our conversations to you know convey our message to show our emotions uh, you know we use this word a lot in different different situations but don't you think we are using one single word every time sorry sorry and sorry so let's change it and let's use some new words some new phrases to say sorry or to apologize in english so we are going to look at some new casual phrases some phrases you can say to your loved ones and those who are close to you and at last we are going to learn some formal phrases to say sorry or to apologize so let's begin the lesson and let's start learning so let's start with the informal or casual phrases right so the first one is i apologize it's a very simple phrase i apologize so it directly tells you the message that you're admitting your mistake or whatever you have done so it can be used both in formal settings and informal settings so it is kind of you know kind of a casual phrase for a formal setting so when you are not in a uh, business meeting or in a very very formal environment but you are just hanging out with your colleagues and maybe you know you knock over a pen stand and something like that just say uh, i apologize so number 2 is sorry about that so sorry about that is a very cute phrase you know it can be used in informal settings and it is uh, used to show your humbleness so you can just say sorry about that maybe you pulled someone's chair and you know you were about they were about to sit but you got that chair first and just say sorry about that Okay it's so a phrase number 3 and it's really very casual and you can just say my bad so my bad so it's a very casual phrase that you can use with your friends when you're hanging out with them you know so if you dropped a napkin you can say oh my bad or maybe you knocked into somebody uh, in a marketplace at the time you can say my bad so someone knocks into me they can say oh shivangi my bad Okay so phrase number 4 is pardon me so pardon me is a phrase when you want to say sorry in a very humble manner you know you can use it in an informal setting maybe a cafe marketplace or you can say this to a stranger probably uh, whom you don't know so you can use this phrase uh, to show your politeness and to show your humbleness for you know small insignificant mistake or maybe something that you did so next time say pardon me So phrase number 5 is my mistake. Well it's similar to my bad but you are taking more responsibility for something. For example, you lost your friend's CD. You can say uh, I lost your CD. My mistake. So basically you are accepting your mistake and you are apologizing for it. You know, you're admitting it. So next time if something happens, uh, you know, and you want to apologize to your friend, just say my mistake. So the next one is number six, and this is going to be really interesting. It's oops or whoops. So basically, oops and whoops. It's kind of an expression, you know, with an exclamation. So it's an expression that you can use if you did something very tiny, you know, very insignificant kind of thing. For example, dropping a pen, you know, uh, dropping a napkin, maybe uh, keeping the book on the wrong shelf. so very insignificant kind of things so oops or whoops oops i dropped the pen oh, oops i kept the book on the wrong shelf 
So next time, if you do these kind of small, small insignificant mistakes, just say oops or whoops. Now we are going to learn some phrases that we can use with our loved ones. People who are really close to you, your parents, your siblings, your cousins, your best friend, people who really matter for you, right? So let's get started. So the phrase number seven is, I am truly sorry, or you can say I am deeply sorry. So basically you use this phrase when you hurt someone's feelings. So you have said something to someone uh, whom you love so much, whom you care about so much, you can apologize to them by saying this sentence. So it shows your feelings, your deepest, deepest sincerities and the way you are apologizing and realizing your mistake. So next time, if you want to apologize to your loved one, just say, I'm truly sorry or I'm deeply sorry. So the phrase number eight is, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. So basically, if you do something unintentionally, you don't even know about something that you did which hurt the feelings of other person or which caused some kind of, you know, uh, loss or some kind of harm for the other person. At that time, you can use this phrase. For example, you broke your mother's favorite crockery. So simply you can say that, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. So the number nine is, can you forgive me? So this is something that you can only say to your loved one, someone who's very close to you. You're directly asking them to forgive you. So this is the deepest way of asking for any apology. So if your loved one or your close, that closest person to your heart, he or she, uh, they are angry at you, you know, just use this phrase for apology. Can you forgive me? So the phrase number 10 is, I hope you can forgive me. Well, it's very similar to the previous one. Again, you can use it with your, uh, you know, loved ones, people who are close to you, and you can use this to show your sincere apologies. So just say, I hope you can forgive me. So these were some informal and casual ways of saying sorry. Now we are going to learn some formal ways of saying sorry. So let's begin. So the phrase number 11 is, I'm ever so sorry. I'm ever so sorry is a phrase that you can use in a formal setting. So it's formal, uh, yet it's a simple phrase that you can say in very simple situations, normal situations. So next time, if you want to apologize at your workplace, simply say, ever so sorry. So the phrase number 12 is, please accept my sincere apologies. So this is the phrase which you can use at your workplace if uh, you commit some kind of mistake. For example, uh, you're not able to reach the meeting on time, you're not able to meet the deadline, or maybe uh, there was some kind of file you had to submit, but you were not able to submit it on time. At that time, you can use this phrase. So next time, if you want to say sorry and be more impressive, be more effective, just say, please accept my sincere apologies. So the phrase number 13 is, I owe you an apology. So I owe you an apology is like, you can say it to your colleague, to your boss, you're saying this to a single person for something, uh, you know, you did. You might feel like, okay, I did this, this was not good enough or something needs to be said, uh, you know, to settle the things. So at that time you can say, I owe you an apology. So here comes the last phrase, of the day and it's highly formal it's very formal people use this phrase only in the business meeting settings so the phrase is i beg your pardon so basically this phrase is used i beg your pardon when you're talking when you are in the meeting specifically so if you want to interrupt someone you can say i beg your pardon if you don't agree with whatever the second person is saying you can say i beg your pardon if you're disappointed or you feel angry about something someone said at that time also you can say i beg your pardon so next time if you want to show disagreement in a business meeting simply say i beg your pardon so these were all the phrases to say sorry different different phrases of saying sorry in different situations 
so be more meaningful while apologizing well apologizing is something that occurs daily we are not perfect and sometimes we do commit mistakes so it's okay to apologize for our mistakes right so next time you want to say sorry definitely use all these phrases that we did according to the situation and context i hope you have learned new vocabulary now and you will be using it in your daily life so i hope this lesson was helpful for you and you enjoyed it a lot please like the video share this video a lot and subscribe the channel if you're new on this channel i am shivangi gupta and i'll see you next time in the next video with a new lesson till then take care